This is Witchbase News for Friday the 22nd of October 2021 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous news this week we've a link to some useful Elite Dangerous Odyssey tutorials this weeks community goal features another pre-engineered module and we've some specific thoughts on a new feature being introduced in update 8 and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe. Remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. I stumbled across some well presented, informative and succinct tutorials this week for some of Elite Dangerous Odyssey's trickier mechanics and wanted to share those for anyone who might be struggling with things like stealing power regulators, engineer unlocks or covert theft. Check out the channel of Stewie Plays PC on YouTube which I've linked in the video description below and you'll find a number of Odyssey tutorials all between 2 to 10 minutes long that focus on some of the trickier areas of Odyssey's on foot settlement sections. None require particularly ninja like skills and all of them are sprinkled with useful tidbits and tips. And don't forget if you're still coming to grips with Odyssey's on foot mechanics then lots of pre upgraded equipment is available over the counter at some starports particularly after a server reboot. We made a short video a while ago that tells you how to go about finding that stuff that is also linked in the description below. This weeks Thursday reboot saw a new delivery centric community goal go live in the bubble. The recently splintered Torval mining company is asking for deliveries of geological equipment, microbial furnaces and mineral extractors to its megaship in the EGM559 system. If tier 3 of the CG is reached then the top 75% of contributors will receive a fully engineered class 1 D rated mining laser with a long range modification. Further for each tier of the CG reached then Torvel mining megaships will be offering an extra 10% discount on all mining equipment up to a maximum of 50%. And if that wasn't enough, if the CG reaches tier 3 a tech broker will be setting up shop in Torvel mining megaships to offer the pre-engineered mining laser after the CG has ended. The community goal will be running for one week ending on Thursday unless all its goals are met by the community before then. Just a quick note that we think it likely that a special event will be dropping in game next week probably on Thursday or thereabouts to time in with Halloween. This time last year saw the unexpected arrival of the Adamaster megaship into the Chukchan system bringing with it the creepy goings on in the Colsac nebula region and kicking off the last year of salvation and evil pharmaceutical mega core driven narrative which is still ongoing. If you're not yet up to speed on what's been going on then there's a link in the description to Frontiers forum post on the story so far and what commanders have been doing in game to uncover it. All this stuff is still in the game and it's completely platform and expansion oblivious and available to everyone. It's often voice acted in the game and very well done so if you've not been involved so far now might be a good time. Also dropping next week after a short delay update 8 to Odyssey. As we mentioned last week Megaship Interiors, Player Emotes and new Odyssey Engineers in Colonia are amongst the new additions alongside further fixes, tweaks and optimizations. As we reported earlier in the week Tuesday's Super Cruise News livestream featured a welcome visit from one of the dev team on the game when principal programmer Dominic Corner dropped in to talk about the mission structure and flow present in Elite Dangerous Odyssey and also highlight some of the new framework features that are coming to the game in update 8 next week. Among the key updates arriving in update 8 are the new NPC behaviours and interactions at Odyssey's signature surface settlements. As we mentioned in our previous video this week which is linked on screen right now the interactions and behaviour being added is in a deliberately simple form currently with the plan being that its initial framework state can be expanded upon by the dev team going forward. 
The example shown in the live stream was for a simple collect and delivery mission where currently the item might be picked up from a box at a settlement it can now be collected from an NPC after that character is tracked down and a textual conversation tree is worked through. Whilst it might seem a simple inconsequential addition as we mentioned Dominic was keen to stress that the addition was a framework for future features to be fleshed out into. During the livestream he went on to describe a theoretical example that described how a player might be able to follow up a conversation at a settlement as part of an ongoing investigation that then leads onto a further step. One of the criticisms we've seen echoed around Odyssey's gameplay is that, despite Elite Dangerous as a whole being a very choose your own adventure style of sandbox game, a large part of Odyssey's settlement based gameplay requires that you become a murderous thief and there is little scope for any other option. It's a fair criticism. For a game that boldly declares blaze your own trail Odyssey seems intent on forcing players to run everyone over during that encouraged trailblazing. However what we think is now becoming clear is that where Odyssey sits right now is very much perhaps not where it intends to stay. As Dominic described the addition of the ability to add more RPG like NPC interactions will, we think, lead to much more gameplay depth and, importantly, roleplay options for those players who would prefer to talk their way around the galaxy rather than engage in the less subtle forms of gunfire based narrative currently on offer. If Frontier can somehow find a way to inject more material gathering elements into the non-violent mission completion idea then the engineering tree would also open up to a bunch more players who choose not to engage with Odyssey's current vogue for wholesale slaughter. If the trend continues particularly when viewed alongside the new fleeing NPC target mechanic that is also appearing in update 8 it would be nice to think we might someday get a bounty hunting mission where the target is arrested and brought in rather than terminated. Are those extensions to missions something you'd personally like to see? Does Odyssey's current staple of cold blooded murder leave you cold blooded? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.